Our winter storm is moving yeah. in. We should be waking up to, I don't know, rain here rain. in the valley. Yes, if you're waking up in the high country, snow, northern uh, and eastern Arizona. Yeah. It's been a while, Royal. Uh, it's been a while, yeah. and this could be the biggie of the season. Oh. Yeah, it's shaping up pretty good okay. right now. If it comes through like we think it's going to come through, tomorrow morning when Ian gets up, starts reporting live on Good Morning Arizona, he'll be standing at least a half a foot of snow tomorrow morning early and it's going to keep adding up. All right, so here we go around the valley temperatures. Well, they're going to continue to fall just a little bit tonight and look at this. They're going to continue to fall tomorrow afternoon. In fact, the afternoon high will probably be around 50, whereas the high, which will be officially recorded after midnight, might be in the mid 50s. Well, here are our rainfall chances and you can see they're peaking during the morning hours, starting around 6 a.m. through the noon hour and then those rain chances start to go downhill uh, pretty quickly. So we think that's our best shot of precipitation and in terms of how much well if you live uh, mainly in the northern and eastern portions of the valley that's where we seem to be seeing some of the bigger rainfall totals showing up two-thirds of an inch of rain a possibility but as we move back uh, west through the valley maybe a third of an inch midtown that's all up in the last model run though i will say that and then maybe a quarter of an inch of rain in some western locations so we have seen a bit of an upswing in the prediction on the terms of rainfall. Well, we had a little bit of light rain that moved through and there might be a little bit of uh, isolated sprinkles out there right now, uh, but nothing to write home to mom about. But this batch of moisture that moved out of the valley and only produced four hundredths of an inch of rain at a couple of locations is just about into the Payson area. And it looks like we're going to see Payson make a changeover from some light rain to snow in the higher elevations above Payson. We've got snow flying at Blue Ridge. We've got snow flying at Flagstaff. And we also have snow flying Heber Overgard and uh, and the Forest Lakes area and those snow showers will continue. Yeah, how do we know it's snowing in Forest Lakes? Well, you can watch this live uh, Forest Lakes snow stick. Just look it up. It's there live. Guy puts up a camera on a snow stick and you can watch the snow come down and uh, see how fast it comes. Well, here's how the snow is going to end up in terms of overall for the state out of this storm. Flagstaff uh, could be well over a foot of snow. Same thing at Heber and Sedona. Even Prescott could be up around a foot of snow. Pretty crazy stuff. Few showers tonight, low of about 50 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going to see showers mainly during the morning hours. That's when our heaviest rain will occur, and then a high of 54. After that, a cold morning is ahead on Thursday. We will start to warm things up, and by the weekend, we're back into the mid 70s. Oh, my.